Uh, it's really bright. I don't know if I'm heading towards the light or not, so I'm really sorry. But in, I'm right next to the new work area in my garage, and I don't have blinds for the window yet. So I think it's calling me soon. I don't know. I don't know what's happening here. Anyways, welcome to Tripod's Garage. We're doing a live unboxing of the Artillery Sidewinder X2. It, Artillery Genius is one of my favorite. 3D printers. I just really like the form factor and everything minus the bed that doesn't detach. And it, man, I think I'm just going to need to go out and get a tan after today. Because I'm just glowing. Anyways, so, you know, I wanted to get this live stream in before I'm headed to Murph. And um, so I know someone else that's headed to Murph that's uh, actually going to be on the stream assisting me. So let's bring him in. Hello there. Hello there. Gosh. How's it going? Can everyone hear Sam? I should hope so. Critic, are you able to hear Sam? And me. Testing one, two. It should be working. <laughs> Let me just check. Ooh, let's have a look. Internal microphone. How about that? Oh, all right. All right. Critic says he could hear us. Well, oh. Anyways, so I heard that you're headed to Murph as well there, Sam. I am indeed. I'm in America right now. It's hotter than hell, I've got to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's, uh, it's pretty brutal. brutal. Uh, and, and if you, you work, work in a garage, garage like me, you, you feel, feel the pain. So I say uh, let's get to the printer. should be pretty fast to assemble. That's one of the things you know, these companies are doing now. It's, you know, it's not like the kits that it used to be. Just put, put the gantry on, on and ready to print. So um, I got a big box over here. So let me see if I can get a hand of um, getting that over. So hold on one second. What? Where did you? Look who's in my garage. Hey, hey, there you go. Oh, well, I appreciate it. I'm here, okay? <laughs> yes, he is. So. We have Sam in my garage. Scary stuff, isn't it? Yes. Whew. Uh, yeah, so if you'll see over here, uh, that's, that's the foyer. And I have a fan blowing in here next to a uh, um, air conditioning duct. And it's illegal to run air into a, into a garage here in the state. So from the main house. But, wow, it's kind of weird. I can see myself over here. Uh, yeah. So what do you think of my um, banner? Oh, that is one badass banner. Do you want to go ahead and show it a little bit? Yeah, let's do it. Get up close. Let me, let me let me move out of the way a little bit and move it on forward. Here we go. Here it is. This is made by Groovy Pearl, Chuck and Nick. Did he do your um, he did your designs as well, didn't he? Something else? Yeah, yes. He did uh, Tripod's Garage. Oh, hold on. There it is. Nice. Yep, he did my logo. And of course, we're here today building speed racers or death racers. Here's mine. It's a bit dark in this corner, isn't it? You've given um, me the dingy corner. Uh, well, that's usually where the people, bad people reside. So, <laughs> well, remember, that was Maddie's craft corner before. Yeah. So, thanks a bunch. <laughs> yeah. So, yes, it's uh, uh, mine is over there. Um, I'm charging batteries to see what the problem is. It might be my speed controller. So I'm hope not. Um, but um, let me turn off the light on there. It's not needed. There we go. Um, so I'm charging up two batteries. Let's see if that's the case, if that we can get that working correctly. Otherwise, uh, it's not going to be a fun time. And of course, what's the stream without the, the pups? Right, Bear? Okay. So Bear's down here. Are we going to ask him to move? Come on. Move. Come on. Go. One side. One side. So, See, he doesn't move. I deal with this all the time. Come on, go see Uncle Sam. <laughs> all right, so see. It's the first time I've ever spoken, but he's still still growling. Oh, he wants to. <laughs> he, he, it's a purr. It really is. Yeah. So, did what time? He's saying, uh, John and Sam. I think we can probably mute your mic over there since now. It's echoing. Yeah. So 
that way we don't have to worry about it um, okay. because uh, Sam brought a better mic for me to use. So I think we can pick up both of us on this. Okay. Yeah. So, all right, let's get to, uh, this is a pretty decent sized box. You, did you ever unbox a artillery? Uh, yeah, besides I had, the Hornet? <laughs> I, I had a Hornet. That's all I've ever had. I think yeah. I think they sent me two Yeah, my Hornet is not doing too well either. Um, the extruder rizzled out on me during our bot builds. And uh, I think that everyone knows about that. Oh, oh you don't need to. <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess. You, here, I could just hide you down here. Let me take a back. Oh. Like your glamorous assistant. Oh yeah, yeah. I didn't know I was gonna have a such a. He's he's no Vanna White, but you know. Are you doing who Vanna White is? Wheel Wheel of Fortune. So, oh right, yeah, yeah. So you get the the artillery pouch. Now they've known been known not to give you snips. And once again, no snips. <laughs> John loved the Hornet. Carl Fenton, yes, I'm in love. The hornet. Yep, yep, yes. Hornet, hornet. So, and, uh, looks like it. Tensioner came off. Oh, I'm good. He's going to play some, uh, I guess you would, do you call it football or, uh, or, or soccer? Um, I call it football. So I don't like. Oh, look at that! You got twin Z. What have they got that idea? Yeah, yeah, twin Z's. Look at that. It's even upside down. And that has it on across the range, right above the horn. Yeah, yeah. The, yep. Yeah. The genius has it. So let me put this down here. I'll get some more fun things. Look at this. Though. This is what you need all the time. You need a full time helper. I know. When are you moving to the states, man? I won't allow me in. Yeah, well, I'll, be, I'll be arrested. <laughs> yeah. Wow. They really. Yeah, this is packed tight. They're going to come out this week. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. This is one beefy printer. Really? Yep. You sure? Yep, go ahead. I'm, I'm when, I, when you said you only had one leg, I thought you were joking. <laughs> and when you turned up earlier, I was like, oh, he's actually only got one leg. Yeah. Right. I, I, how does that happen? This thing is a massive. Man, that, that sun is pretty brutal. But we'll get past it. No big deal. All right. Come on. See, this is why Bear is always in the way. It always. Come on. There we go. Oh, and that's one way to get him to move. All right, no. Go in the door. So, here we go. Do not remove. Oh, man. Definitely a beefy base. Oh, look at that. I like that. I'll give you a pre installed screws here. They tried that with the Hornet. Mine uh, fell into the case. I remember that. That was uh, interesting. And this is the spare. And, well, no, it's just the base, right? Yeah. Oh, well, we got to get the screws in because they're not fully in. Oh, so Carl's asking, how was the flight? The flight? Um, well, I'll talk a little bit about that. Shall I? Why you, why yeah, you, go ahead. Um, you put that on top. Uh, the flight was probably one of the best flights that I think I've had in many years, and not just to, not, you know, just down to COVID. Um, it was actually a, it was actually good, it was a good flight. Hey, you know what? So on this side here, there's a little yeah. insert. Yeah, that was, that was nice. Yeah. So let me uh, get the camera here. So if you've ever um, assembled a artillery printer, you have a uh, connector right down here. Reminds me of like, um, if you ever assembled a, a PC, a PCI around. Express PCI, yeah, yeah, yeah. type connector, yeah. and just goes right in. I mean, this is definitely, yeah, one of the, the you gotta figure out what this is from. Oh, uh, it's a drive. 
Yeah, so I just guess find out where the detection error is right here. So it fell somewhere. Oh, I guess we'll find out what this mysterious piece is a little bit later. Hey, Micro Viking. Wait. Okay. All right. So now, so continuing on with your flight, you said that. Uh, yeah. So one of the best flights I think I've had in a long time, uh, and the there was only about fifty people on the flight, which was a bit weird, and I was a bit worried because I had a lot of stuff to bring over. I've got some t-shirts and stuff to give away at Murph, and uh, obviously the races, and I was mm -hmm. worried about you know immigration and you know people wanting to strip bags and stuff, but it was okay. I had uh, some... He's talking about customs and TSA. Yeah. Not immigration. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, you, you know my background, right? Yeah. But um, I had some good, a good amount of help this morning with my bags. That was nice. Uh, and then moving on from that, uh, yeah, I got there on time. Everything was good. It was, uh, it was an enjoyable flight. They fed me well, uh, and I was allowed to sleep across three chairs. So um, you know, that was nice. When's the last time you were on a flight? Um, pre-COVID. Okay. So it's been a while. A couple of years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we when we went to um, Cabo. Okay. So that was actually the year before COVID. So yeah, and that was a a pretty packed flight with the screaming baby. So, but we got around that. But well, I had no screaming baby, but I did have a belching man. Belching man. Yeah. yeah. So I guess he thought he was at home or something. I don't know. It was pretty pretty disgusting. If that answers your question, Carl, <laughs> in, any, in any real detail. <laughs> no, you said, uh, Carl, I asked, uh, no, so no chaos. Then. No, no chaos at all. It was absolutely fine and dandy. <laughs> yeah, so, um, and his flight was actually a little early. He, he uh, pings me, says, oh, I'm just waiting on my bag. And what was that? It was like 10, 15. And his flight was supposed to land at what five, uh, ten twenty. So I said, "Hey, you know, due to um, customs and all that stuff, I'll pick you up at 11. And we agreed to that. And then he's like, "Oh, wait, wait I gotta get there a little bit earlier." I was out and ready to go, and then I had some um, deep pan pizza before I knew it. Oh yeah, so I took him to Giordano's. We'll post the pictures a little bit later. Um, yeah, and he uh, typically two slices would do you in. And he, he dived in for that third slice. Yeah. No messing about. Yeah. No, I think I can start missing. Start missing? Is it supposed to be the thing? Where? I don't know. I can look it up in the other one. They've got a drum as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, what's the, what's the same? Yeah, so we'll be heading to Murph, uh, driving up Thursday. We'll possibly see. Um, uh, TH3D Tim uh, right. on the way. His uh, business is kind of on the way there. Crash at his, his house, maybe cook up some steaks or something. Uh, any jet lag? The width? Any jet lag? Not yet. I'm. I got up at four a.m. this morning UK time. I think it's now ten o'clock. Yeah. Um, PM. So yeah, I'm pretty. I'm pretty exhausted, but. John's kept me on my toes today. <laughs> yeah, I've been, I've been sweeping his garage up. I've been cleaning and tidying for him, uh, assisting him around the place. Um, you know, just, you know, all these, all these, all these jobs uh, he had me, you know, ready to go. <laughs> He's full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say that. Sorry, artillery, but uh, it's fun. This is a uh, machine provided by artillery. I'm sorry about the swear there, but I got to call him out. No, nope. <laughs> I've been chauffeuring him around. Being a good, good uh, um, host, host, yes. Trying to get his uh, an active sim for his his phone before it's too late. Yeah. So, but no, it, it's, uh, he did uh, manage to hang a banner. So I'm just connecting the Z steppers. This is an extra wire for something. I think they said that'd be a future upgrade. So that doesn't get plugged into anything. But what the other side? Oh, that sorry, it has one on oh, there. Um. So I'll put you in the other Z over here, and then the, the optical. I think it's the optical on here. Yeah, yeah optical. Yeah, it's also on the back, isn't it? Yeah. So very tight cabling, very nice. And my head snips. 
I'll get them for you. Don't worry. Oh, hey. Well, so, okay. oh, look at that. Hand delivery. I need a leg delivery, though. <clears throat> so, um, you know, with, uh, you know, not getting these artillery, you got to find your own way to snip. Snip, snip. And we're almost done, believe it or not. So what, what's the size of the bed of it? 300 by 300 by 4? Yeah, I believe it is. So it's a massive printer. And like I said, I'm a pretty big fan of their printers. So I have two geniuses. And we'll, there we go. So we got a little mini SD card here. We got a USB, yeah. standard USB on the side here. Yeah, so the, you can read either a USB stick or memory. You know, a monthly thing on the back. Aha. Uh -huh. So, what is that? Is that the, uh, that's the full. Yeah, that's yeah. nice. Yeah, it goes right up here. On top. Yep. You got the one slides back and forth. Right. Yep. Guess we should look at the instructions on that one. Yeah, I think. I think this. Weird. Yeah, because of the filament. So that, and then one side gets locked in. No, only one gets locked in place. Oh, this garage is heating up bad. We got to take our tops off. Um, you won't want to see that. I have a scar, <laughs> I have a scar going all the way down my my. Put big, big scars. Oh, they do. Oh, yeah. then man, there'll be a line by my house. <laughs> <laughs> I got my stump scar. I got two surgery scars. <coughs> stump scar. I mean, that is that's, 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 that's yeah. So make sure you hit a little like on the video if you <laughs> want to see a stump scar. <laughs> yeah. So this has a little bit. Do you get a spool of filament with this? If they give oh, oh, please. Did we not get even sample roll? Maybe. I don't think we got anything. That's not good. Okay. Um, no. No? No. You're unhappy with that. No, no. Because we had um, a rock which we ran the wrong way. Okay. This. There we go. Who needs instructions? I mean, they're all pretty much the same, right? Yeah. So, what do you think about the uh, plastic top on this? Uh, that doesn't bother me. No? no. Um, how about you? Um, I mean, you know, there's no complaints. I think it has a, you know, a, an appeal to it where it's. Um, an injected molded plastic never really bothered me. Oh, I like this um, heavy for the head. Oh, the screen relief? Yeah, yeah it's pretty beefy. All right. Well, it's not wobbling. Nope. Even the bed's not wobbling. Nope. It's, uh, it's got nice little, we'll go through it a little bit later. What's your first print going to be on this thing? Do you think you're going to do one of those um, dragon things that everyone's been printing? No. No, I'm, I'm not a dragon fan. I actually am. I mean, I, I, oh, I think it was safe to take this off. There you go. Do not remove before finish assembly there. <laughs> See? He doesn't care. Did Bear give Sam a good Welcome. Oh, yes. Bear yeah, was I, very... I was barked at for about 20 minutes. And um, then I even did the treat thing, and he did not... Bear had no uh, say in that. He's a good judge of character. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, let's see here. Anything else? Let's stumble. It does. You know, I can't see anything. I mean, it's only got one screw in there. Yeah, and which we found out was pretty cool. All right, so... What have we got here? That's TPU up there. Any open schools? Yeah. 
element and sitting here for too long. Oh, sorry, sorry, it's actually 20 past 11, not 10 in the UK. I just had a text. Oh, yeah. yeah. And the text sorry. is? Sorry, the text is, it's 20 past 11 p.m. So 11.20 p.m. <laughs> or 23.10, as you Americans would have to say. Not 10. Ah, okay. I've been told. So, uh, there you go. Thank you. <laughs> Um, do you have any filament? Do you want me to get you some filament? Um, well, I think you could just choose. I mean, it's it's of course it's you know polymaker. So let's see. Let's see what Sam picks. Are these already open, or are they? Some are. Uh, that's the silver. That's been open. I did the T Rex on Ooh, there. That's nice, isn't it? I'll tell you what. Do you know what's cool? It's on there. It says uh, uh, silk, silk silver, right? It does say silk silver. Yep, that is a real nice print. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Very beautiful. Look at that. Look at the shine coming for that. Yeah. Oh, that's juicy stuff. Okay. So, it's, uh, it actually even comes out nicer after you print it. I have to say, that's uh, one of the fastest assemblies. It's nice when it's like that, isn't it? It is. So would you say that this particular printer is what they would call a plug and pray style? Printer? Oh, so so going off of Windows um, 95, plug and pray. Um, no, not yet. It's getting close. You know, we do know that some manufacturers are getting to that point, but you know they they have to do this. Um, are you sure they're not supposed to? Someday I'll get through this match and find out where it is. Is it because of the stress that I'm feeling? Then? Yes, I, I get, and it's like teeth break, right? Earlier on, we went into the store and uh, we were trying to get a SIM card, and I called John Dad, and um, it was kind of weird for, for everyone, I think. <laughs> no, fine, I was fine with it. I thought it was hilarious. I'm like, wait a minute. Oh, as the, oh, as the, as the, as the, okay, so wait, wait, that makes me really old then. Trouble finding the hole? Oh, there's no hole there for that one. Okay. There's not. There's no hole there for that one. Okay, so then we ditch that then. But it can go in this one, but it can't go in that one. No. Do you want me to put it in? Um, that sounds very awkward. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think you're nearly there, John, to be fair. <laughs> let me just let me just pinch that there. There you go. There you go. Right, I think we're okay, do we to go ahead. Go ahead and screw it. Thank you. So, then, so that people know that that's what's really happening. Ooh. Say, well, it's an actor, isn't it? Yeah, you thought that I was, it was just me. No, it's a... Uh, Carl's getting all types of shady blushes going on. Is it? Yeah. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> cool. there you go. How about that? How about that? So what are you going to do with this printer? What's the, what's the aim? Because okay. I see you've got... One, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven, eight, nine. And I say, I say nine. Uh, they, uh, this is a artillery stream, so we have to be nice. Ten. Okay, ten. I'm counting eleven, twelve. I'm saying twelve, and then there's another one in there, and then you got one right there. But we all know that Sam has more printers than that. John, there was a time when we had a conversation. And you said, you said. Worth the word, I do not need any more printers. So what are we going to do with this one? We're going to print on it, and if it prints really well, this will be a keeper. All oh, right, okay. And if it doesn't? We'll find an execution plan for it. Right. <laughs> so. But hopefully it will. Do you want me to put that in for you? Oh, no. Well, first we need to make sure that our power is correct, right? Because this is the AC to bed. Mm -hmm. I'll let you in on Sunday. Oh, well, yeah? He checked it. He checked it already. He checked it. 115. So, yeah. It's nice having some teamwork around here. So, 
So is this table not flat? Or? Uh, it's probably not. This is a... Uh, I don't blame the printer on that one. I blame the table. There is, if you don't mind, the smaller wound up extension cord. There you go. And Smart. the dog's front of it. So on the, on the slat wall, to the right. The oh, line. Yeah. Yep. 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 I'm going to plug in that one because. Well, Sam, you're very impressed with those slat walls. <laughs> yeah. They, uh, they come in handy. But the problem is, is uh, staying organized with it after you take everything off the wall. Sure. Especially when he uh, got the ladder off, Sam got the ladder off. He's like, oh, yeah, we'll have a one legged dude put that one on. That was a, a short and a half. Still not done. I mean, I still got uh, just some electrical to do. But. So, can I ask a personal question? Sure. Um, I noticed above your head there are a couple of. Um, points. What can I call those? Hoist points? Oh, these? Yeah. Oh, so he's, uh, so up here in the, on the ceiling, um, there's no, no bodies being hung up there or anything yet. Um, no, that was, uh, those are bike hooks. So okay. we hung up bicycles in here for one point. Oh, okay. It was I, my, thought, I thought it might be something to go like a fitness gym or <laughs> something yeah. to get you out of the chair if you need to stay. <laughs> oh, fine. Well, everything good? Uh, it's powering up. Oh, that's nice. So everything was on. I guess it was on. Yeah. yeah. On. So you're having both John and Sam in the same room around tools. That's from Karen. Right, okay. But he's he's also has a CR6SE. So who's more, who's scarier? Well, I got two. You, so. you have to. But what's well, in the box? Yeah, and you upgraded the CR. You, you, you put the free tech stuff in there. Yeah, so it's a lot more reliable, and it doesn't short the ground anymore. So, <laughs> I was, so it's, it should be fire safe now. All right. So, yeah. We will put on the bed here. So this is a car brand and bed. Is that how you pronounce it? How would you pronounce it? Carb-random. And carb around. <laughs> Something like that. We can put some IPA on there. Uh, where is... Uh, dispenser for the IPA. Oh, well. I guess we have get some rubbing alcohol on it. So. All right. Cool. And so turn this thing around here. Break it a little bit. Any other safety precautions? Um, yeah, don't have salmon tripod to do this. <laughs> so, oh, hold on, we gotta do the peely, peely time as we drop more stuff. This is a very professional stream, everyone. There we go. That was not very enthusiastic, but it did happen. That's not your first rug yet, right? No, no. What do we got in here? Okay. Now that's pretty nice. They give you almost like a real wrench. Well, it's because in the UK spanners. Yes, I had to learn the other. All right. One thing that's great about this, this is an AC heated bed. So they do heat up really fast. Um, so we'll just bring up the temperature. Let me uh, move this down. A little bit. There we go. All right. Um, is that even focus? 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 There we go. Oh, look at that. Okay. So, you got your heat. I, I was thinking that these were touch, but it's not. So, set. And we're going to do. Go back. Tools, heat, and 
add uh, 60. Carbonidium. Carbonidium. That sounds like a Marvel thing. Carbonidium. It's a carbonidium. It's indestructible. What can you say? My best son Nice. Oh, did you hear Sam or no? Because we could add him back to the stream. There you go. Uh, that was not part of our agreement. Hey, Maddie's here. Maddie's Craft Corner. What's this body option? So Maddie is here, and uh, she's uh, helping, helping out with Sam on some merch. She is. Thank you, Maddie. Look at this. Carborandum. That's what I'm calling it. Carboridium. So it's already heated up. Is it? Yeah. That's insane. It is really. It's really cool to be that hot. Man's not hot. So that's good. How do you feel? Because you've got three other, other artillery printers. How do you feel? How's your unboxing experience on this one, Tripod? It's the same. It's it's just as easy. I have the Sidewinder, uh, the Geniuses. I got the other Genius from uh, Edge of Tech, Jim. Oh, yeah. Yep. So one's actually the, the wife. And the, it, so having this down, it's true to fashion. Let's see if it's uh, kind of a green, blue. Oh, oh no, it's yellow. That's, that's pretty gnarly. What is that on there? Uh, it's yellow. It's probably from the logo on the glass. Wow. So, but uh, the other ones had like some type of blue tint that came off. All right. I'm going to put this in the direct drive. Man, that's it. That, that sun is. Out. Let's see. Update assembly step. Lesson six grows and apparently the photo of each item is only a little bit better. So it's just adjusting the date. That's adjusting the date, right? Yeah. Maybe. No, it's, uh, it's solid. Everything feels feels good. To be fair, both hornets have been really shaky when they've arrived. Yeah. For me. Yeah, so it's quite, it's quite nice to see this one some of it go. This must be a Tuesday mid morning print. Yeah. I'm used to Friday fall off the truck. You know, get out of the early not fully assembled printers. All right, so let's uh up the computer and push out some filament. So, everyone like uh, the Death Bracers banner? I think it's really, really cool. Nick uh, really nailed it. Hi, Oreo. She's sunbathing and staring. That's all she does is stare at walls. So it has like a volcano style hot end. You get a few extra rollers. Um, you get an uh, extra ribbon cable. I don't know if they've seen these lockers as a, as additions. Yeah. Uh, not everything will be delivered tomorrow after. No problem. Everything will be delivered tomorrow after. Nice. When you clean or Bidium glass with IPA it slowly removes the coating used to help with adhesion. That's why the yellow film is, is it's recommended not to use IPA on carboridium. Soap and water. Well, I would agree with that. However, this bed is not removable. So you oh, don't God. yeah, so we kind of learned that from the Hornet and the genius printers. 
Um, oh, that's that's uh, so it's put it glued on. Yeah. So the bed is glued on. Uh, it's glued on, and then you also have. It's nice that it's insulated underneath, but and then you got the nice string relief here. A really nice table. So let's uh. Very oozing out. That was pretty magical. What will you do for your next trip? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do this. There we go, a little bit better. Uh, sorry, Bear. We're going to have to take your uh, take a piece of your paper here. So now we're going to just level it. What's the price on this bad boy? So this is uh, $479 last time I checked. That was just uh, this morning. Ah, I missed it. Ah. Ooh, that was a crash, right? Another crash? Oh, no, it was just a, the, the Z homing. So that's interesting, isn't it? It's got the feel touch style pro on it, but you also have the lead. Yeah, I really think that printers should get away with Corey. We're trying to do a lot. They should start to be precise enough that you don't have to do it. I, that's my feeling. I mean, this. This extrusion is so beefy. It, I really think they could get away with not doing it. I mean, what's that? Twenty six. Yeah. Twenty six. Twenty five sixty. Yeah. So that's on the or ten ten. It looks like a ten sixty. Is it? Sure that's ten. Oh, we got the same up here. Oh, hold on. Let's check it out. Oh, is that yeah. Yeah. Well, that's inches. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, well, that's a 20, 20 extrusion. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. Crazy. Crazy. So, what about adjusting the belt tension? How do we do that? I don't see any adjustments. Do you see any in the back? No. So the adjustment is probably. Uh, see you later, Tim. He's driving. Take care, Tim. Is he coming from there? No. I, I, I got some of his stickers to hand out here. Don't put me in the bin, mate. We've lost some. <laughs> So you might get a bit of adjustment on the motor. It's, it's pretty full on there. Yeah, I think they should be able to get away with not doing this anymore. I mean, they get linear rails. I. I am a fan of, but not in like environments that I am. I'm constantly in maintaining them because of all the dust. Yeah. And, and that's all it, because they're greased up. And that's one thing for this. If you are in a shop environment, if, unless it's enclosed, it's uh, not all that great. What are you making of the airflow on the. Um, if that's uh, that something. Yeah, it's uh, um, I've had the same on the Genius, right? Yeah, and it's done pretty well. Um, I think it's nice to see that it's injected molded versus three printed. Yeah, that means it's, it's smoother on the inside. Anyone that knows cars is uh, for like turbos and stuff, you want a nice smooth bore.
I did. Sometimes it takes more than one pass. The center has it was really tight. Man, did I love it. No, no, sometimes I don't. He's right. But it was nice that they included uh, um, their version. I don't know if I had to look it up if it is an actual field touch or their version. Yeah, I think that's actually a field touch. It's usually like a clear color, isn't it? Yeah, this is a smoky black. So when they're putting this glass bed on, is it onto glue or is it onto a sheet? I think it's glue. Because if it's blue, it's going to be a little inconsistent. Yeah. It looks like it's like a three mil pad. But if you look at it this way, there's lots of us that use um, magnetic sheets. Yeah. It's basically the same principle. So, it's a. Uh, you. You. Uh, you trust the, the adhesive to be level. And I just started to become a fan of that type of uh, release system. Yeah, yeah. Yep. All right. Okay. I've got some new uh, A cubic plus. I did put a PIE sheet on that. Yeah. Uh, because we have the 5 volt ground issue. Uh, sorry, 24 volt. Uh, because of uh, clipping the the, the yeah. bed underneath. That's it. That's it. Of course, that eliminates that issue. Do you know what it is? All right, so that is level. Yes. So, what are you guessing it's going to be then? An hour? What, for this print? Yeah. Well, first, I want to make sure I can level it. So, tools again. All right, it's level. And move more. So you got to change your lights, and that's where you do your Z offset auto level. There we go. <laughs> There's people that are just not fans of it. What's up, Ogre Munchen? The Free Heathen, what's going on? We got Sam Princess in the building, in, in the garage. Real. The real, the real Sam Princess. Says hi, Sam. Hey, hey. So, Sam uh, tried his deep dish pizza. Basically, straight off the plane. <laughs> we got some lunch. I went, where did we go? First, we went to Walmart to get you a prepaid card that you still don't for your phone. Still does what? Still doesn't work. That's fantastic. Well, we have to try to get that working before tomorrow. And, um, yep. Oh, hey, Akuda Mods. Matt. Matt is back. Matt, you going to be at Murph? I think he was. I think he said he was going to be. I think it was just, he's only coming to meet you, Sam. Hey. Yeah. And Akuma Mod says, Welcome to the land of rust and corruption. One is Illinois. I told him that cars don't last long here because of salt. Salt addiction. And what about my uh, my now 
almost instantly famous question around uh, water. Oh, so Sam was like, I gotta print something and see what's on here. We'll do this for you. He goes, That's the only thing that's on here. Ah. Um, oh, we took 120 minutes to charge the battery. Nice, two hours. Um, so we were um, driving back towards my place, or actually, no, towards Walmart. And so Sam sees these. Um, Sam sees these uh, um, powers, and uh, they're you know they're towers. They're with the bulge on top. Is that yeah. what he said? What's with the bulging towers? I'm like bulging towers. And then he points at oh Streamwood. Oh, that's a water tower. He's like, what is a water tower? I said, well, they pump water in it and create pressure for all the lines, basically going into the houses. Buildings. Oh, okay. Do you have many of them? I said, yep. Almost every town has one. You got like four. Yeah. There's actually two for here. Um, uh, there we go. Um, yeah, there's uh, two. Um, because Hanover Park has two counties. Is he upset? Yeah. Almost a, what is it, point five? Point one? Uh, is it? Oh, point two five. Is it off a little bit? Oh, oh, it's, oh it's cheating. It's doing a skirt. Or doing a, a raft. So the increments on this are not point north two five, which is interesting. Yeah. How do you adjust the tension? I don't know. That's what we need to find out here. Maybe after it's done printing. Um, there's definitely no grooves here. Uh, I mean, on the yeah, um, on the ink. But it's just on the front. Oh, no, it's a bit yeah, it's got a little wheel in the, the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a little high now, but we're just going to let it run. Let's see if we can push this back into. The shade is that a green screen? I see Sam. <laughs> I spot Sam. Yes, S Sith Lord Brit is going to be at Murph. Yeah. Yep. So that. Uh, so now you can you get some new people here. You can show your banner again. It's going to be at Murph. Oh. So let's add Sam back to the stream here. Yeah, my more So this is my um. This is my Murph banner, which Tripod is insanely jealous of, of course, because... You can take mine and put it up next to it. I can't believe it. Yeah. Yeah, because I actually gave him the dimensions of my banner. <laughs> yep. Oh, bless you, Tripod. <laughs> bless you. Bless you. Ah, amazing. Amazing. It's good, though. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. That's the same company. Yeah, it's nice. I had to come up with something real quick and because I, I didn't really think about doing something like that with just a big logo. But. Oh, yeah. I mean, the death race thing just kind of came. Yeah, you are decapitating other robots' heads, right? So yes. that's the that's the plan, the big idea. We're hoping that on Sunday the files will be released for the races. Yes. Um, I guess I should charge up my other battery. Because it takes like an hour, two hours, because I think I may have had the wrong amperage. Oh, 
Yeah, well, Karen always hears that a lot. Or he always says that a lot. He's got a good, good understanding why. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yes. Well, he also says that he chains her up, so. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, he's the one that said it, not me. All right. Let's see. Five amps. 7.4. hours. That's just ridiculous. But we got some infill happening here. Ah, oh, thank you, Andrew. 20 bucks. Nice. The trip to Murph and for coffee. Big channel is here too. And he's going to Murph. Hey, we need to kick off some of these printers in here. Did you did you print out anything for like to hand out because stickers? Uh, how'd you make? Well, well, like Jano, he's printing out something to um for Murph to like like I did a little ghost or keychains. You mean that come with a photo? Yeah. So I did a whole bunch of those. Oh, okay, right. The answer is no. Um, hey, Lightspeed's have, here. I What's do up? have quite a few stickers. Big, so I ordered some stickers. Okay. That are bigger than I thought they were going to be. Like, a lot bigger than I thought they were going to be. <laughs> so, ridiculous size. So, there'd be a load of those. Um, you can shake me warmly by the hand if you like at the event. <laughs> there you go. As long as you're clean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I don't think anyone's hands will be really clean. It's, uh, we are uh, basically in. Farmland area. So, I'm looking forward to it. Oh, it is fun. It's weird. It, for me, it's weird though because you know, not that long ago, I was you know just chilling out, and now I'm here. Bizarrely enough, and it didn't take that long to get here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so you caught me. I was like, we were just cleaning up and just uh, shooting the shit, so to speak. Sorry, artillery. <laughs> um. And you you ping me on Messenger. And I'm actually still awake. It was 12:30 at night in the morning, and I'm like, like and I'm just still. I didn't even fall asleep until almost two o'clock. Was it because you were nervous? Or something? Yeah, I was. I was. I was getting stage fright. So, so who we got? Light speed. We had. How are you, tree pod? So, it's, it's, tree so, pod. so, so, his wife. Um, she's a Latino for uh, Lightspeed, and she always thought that my name was Treepod and not Tripod. What is a Treepod? I don't know. I'm still waiting for Lightspeed to tell me what a Treepod is. I so, like Treepods. I you go with that. Oh, there you go. Treepod's garage. Well, the printer is definitely quiet. It really is. It's very quiet. So the, the big thing at the moment for pretty printing is speed quality yep so what's the speed in the 60 70 uh, we, we could look it up um it's direct drive so it's going to typically it slows it down and it doesn't have any of those advanced features um typically i won't push a direct drive past 60 anyways uh but that's me i know that you know you got these more elaborate printers that, that account for jerk and acceleration more elaborate printing. <laughs> yeah, well I well that. i mean this is still not in that category like the rat rig and Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, it's just being brutally honest. Sure. Uh, you are getting an off-the-shelf printer that worked yeah, right out, out, of out of the box, yeah. and that's honestly that's all I can ask for. Yeah. Uh, the bed is super heavy on the tiller. Yes, this is a very thick glass. I mean, yeah, and uh, Lightspeed's actually a fan of artillery as well. Um, I think it's, you don't want it too thin. No. But. I mean, I mean the any cubic ones are thin. They're a lot thinner than that. So, yeah, it's 
The uh, rat rig is super fast either because it's huge. <laughs> it's so huge. No, but the V Minion isn't. So the V Minion has the uh, 180, 180. Mm -hmm. The Morris Drag Drive. Um, but that'll do 300 millimeters per second. So, you know, it's a good counterpart for himself. Yeah. I, oh, no, I'm actually quite surprised with this one. It's, it's nice. I like it. Um, so I recently got now a, an office since Maddie moved out. You know, we have an office downstairs still in, in, in working phases. So I'm thinking about which printers I want down there. I was thinking about the Genius. Um, I will have room for two printers down there. So we'll see which ones make it. And what's nice about this is that in the back, the bed doesn't sling. It only goes to the, to the edge of where the power cable is. Yeah. So that's the biggest problem with these Cartesians is that sometimes it, you push it against the wall and the bed goes past your base. But this thing is, you can see the camera shaking. It's because of the table. It's not the best table in the world. Actually, for a folding table, it's one of the best out there. But it's, it's cruising along. So, can I ask you a personal question? Personal question away. When you see tables, are you jealous? Yeah, they do, they have three more legs than me. I don't get why. But there are three-legged tables. So there there's are. tripod tables. There are tripod tables. I mean, maybe, that, maybe that's what you should be, tripod tables. That's it. Tripod, tripod, tripod tables. Tripod tables. <laughs> <laughs> tripod, tripod tables. I love that. That's like a tongue twister. I'd definitely buy one of that too. Yeah. You know, there's a rolling store. Yeah, it's a bit high for me. Oh, you need a. You're taller than I thought you were going to be. Really? Yeah, he's he's a good, like, inch or two taller. Than, well, you know, you can say it in some. <laughs> that's freedom units, okay? Sorry. So, but yeah, so we say that, you know, we do six foot, like, one, six foot two. I, you're, you're at least six feet, right? Five eleven. Oh, five eleven? Then I shrunk. I used to be five eleven. It must be the the curved back spine from being on crutches for over thirty years. Yep, it's it's cruising along. I mean, out of the box, I think it's doing great. Uh, with a one twenty by one twenty, not rally a fair not okay, but a really a fair contest. So, so I guess the boron the one twenty by one twenty. Isn't that what Voron is? I'm funny. It's funny. Yeah, Voron V1. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I haven't. I've never used Voron. Yeah. I've never That's seen what they're Boron. talking about. Okay. So I said to them, I'm very happy to, to do some stuff with you, but so this should be big enough to build a helmet. Yeah, I mean the 300, 300 is very much the you know even in the early days with reality. 300 printers were the ones to go for. This is 400 high, right? Yeah, I believe so. I have it in the description. Let's see. Yep, 400 high. So it's a, it's a, it's a, honestly, it's a decent size printer. Um, it, and prints. it prints. It prints. <laughs> I take the Voron and everywhere with him. Hey, uh, Steve, you're going to Murph? Yeah, I'm keen to have a look at one. Oh, he says he doesn't think so. No. Uh. Uh, we need to do a GoFundMe for him to come to Murph. Yeah, so it's about a three-hour drive, three hours and like 20 minutes from here. Ribbon cables are solid. They are nice. They got the – so that was one of the upgrades was, you know, just the, they improved what what was already, you know, good and bad on the previous one. They put cable clips in place on both. Axes, X and Y, so which is nice. So it may stay in place. 
And I never okay. had I never had a problem with mine and detaching. And I I used my genius for a long time, many months. It was actually uh, my go-to for the droid building series. For all the small parts, the TPU. But the plane is like 600 that you don't have. Okay. Where's he coming from? I had my car and room sponsored. But the plane is like, so drive. You drove last year. Your car drove you last year. So have your car drive you again. You got Tesla. Model 3. Oh, I thought you crashed it. No, no. Someone crashed into him. He boned him. But then they, finally the insurance did what they were, they manned up. Yeah, but it's like, I used to get in there, isn't it? No. Uh, what? Tony Mouse. Uh, he's from Arizona. How, how long did it take you, Steve, to get the Murph? Model Y. Oh, okay. Yeah, my business partner's just better one of my life. Yeah, you gotta come out. Come on. Third, it was thirty hours. Thirty hours, maybe oh. not. Well, well, like I said, the car did most of the work for him. So six hundred dollars to get flying. Yeah. Wow. It was a fun trip. So I think that means that he has to do it again. I don't see. Okay, oh, all right, Doug. That's right, Doug. Tillery Cube has their logo on the top. That's right. Yeah, she she's addicted to the front door. She's always on patrol. And she likes sitting on bear. <laughs> when she's in trouble, she, uh, she always sits next to Bear all the time. Come on. You can focus. Speaking of focus, she doesn't have a focus printer. I, uh, yeah, that printer I did a giveaway. It ran, oh, you did. It ran the stream, yep. So, um, Uh, there is a chipper flight into Midway, so go to Midway. John, uh, what about flying into Midway? What's that like? Midway is fine. It's a little bit south of Chicago. Um, so from Chicago, it's uh, 20 minutes. Um, it's uh, not bad. You take the Stevenson up or down. It's a small airport. It's easy to get in and out of. A lot of people prefer it, and I assume you'll be on Southwest. Oh, she looks like your dog. Yeah, she is. Uh, I adopted her. So that's bears. We've uh, when um, we lost a dog every year, just of age, and bear always went outside with other dogs, and he um, when we had to put one down because she had cancer, it ruptured her liver. Um, she uh didn't come home with her and he was moping around the house for months. Oh, whoa, that one charged well, fast. That was a quick one. Yeah, that, that's a good fast charge. I'm going to try, but it's too hot in this country for me. I'm going to have another <laughs> one in the water. Do you want another water? Get another yeah, one. I'll take water. You want these? Yeah. Whatever. It's all good. Top up your electrolytes in this spring. Yep. Has got electrolytes. Yep. There you go. Uh, propel. Yeah. Not sponsored. But if you do want to sponsor, reach out right now. They were watching. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, Midway is uh, I, Southwest. Flies out of there. Um, some Delta flights. But, yeah, I mean, honestly, Stephen, if you um, if, if you fly out on Thursday, we can pick you up. Do it. Yeah, I thought that we were going to have more equipment, but we, I, I think with... Um, I'm bringing a printer, and you're bringing a bag. We yeah, can, we can fit you, Stephen. My other bags, 
here. If that's okay. Yeah, yeah, that's absolutely and fine. It'd just be going in a couple of bits. You know? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm bringing um, the Kaiwu Idex. Sorry, uh, Chillery. I already uh, was asked to bring it. So, um, and uh, so are you doing the top layer? Nice. Well, it's actually doing the logo, right? Yeah. All right. So I think uh, Stephen Lightspeed is checking flights right now because he hasn't responded. Yeah, she's a good dog. Oreo, that's her name. She's just a little hyper. But Bear, it keeps, she definitely keeps Bear young. He's now very active again. You know, we adopted her like three years ago. And um, they get along great, as you can see. But Bear has gotten along with every dog that we've had. But we always had to make sure it was a female dog. I'm sure he would be fine with another male dog. I mean, it's quiet. She is crazy, Maddie. <laughs> it is. This is very nice. nice. Well, it sounds like I have the AC heated bed. So I think that's one less fan in there. Could be wrong. The power supply? I mean, there's a breeze coming outside. I mean, well, I wonder if that's just for cooling the boards. It's been a while since I've taken one apart. The touchscreen's nice. I mean, this, this is a solid printer, everyone. It really is. It's. I mean, it's just nice when you put it together, a printer, or like, I hate to say it, but like Ender 3, says Lord knows how that goes. It's just, you know, it's, that printer is 2 230 240 You get what you pay for. It's trash. You know, I mean, mine's printing right now because I've dumped another 300 in or 250 into it. So, but you now you're in that same price range, and look at the type of machine you get. It's funny though, because I always forget how much hassle the N3 is to put together. You've yeah. got to put the gantry on. I mean, it's not horrendous. No. But it's a lot of messing around, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I remember you doing a live stream, putting yeah. a couple of returns together. That's it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. man. Those were, those were uh, not the best experience. No, in fact, the CR6 was a common grow as well, I think. Mm -hmm. so we're not that stuck that. But I'm. I'm Thoroughly impressed with it. It's a nice it's machine. Well done, artillery. Yes. But I will have to be uh, saying departing ways with some printers. So we'll see which ones I get rid of. Oh, but are you going to take Sam on the micro center trip? The problem is, is then he has to. What Whatever, I mean, we can have center variant. What's the micro center? It's um, gadgets and gizmos. I mean, it's um, tech related, and they do have uh, a 3D printing section. Yeah. It, it, you know, it depends on which one you go. The one that he's talking about um, is pretty decent sized. Um, that's where I got this one for $100. Okay. That's why I found out that they no longer put mean wells in them. Well, they made well. <laughs> no, they don't. <laughs> Sam could not afford the excess luggage if Tripod's garage does take them there. Yeah, it's uh, pretty pricey because your bag just made the check limit, right? Yeah, so my bag was $60 to fly here with 50 pounds to go back to go with. Um, but it did, it, yeah, it had 20, I think the limit was something like 25 kilos or something like that, or 51 pounds. And it was literally just bang on with the races and stuff in there. But um, I wasn't sure if it, there was a, like a Heathrow Airport crisis with 15,000 bags that hadn't been claimed and stuff. So um, wow. it was a little bit of a worry, but I think the media, as per usual, was piped all up. Yeah. And it wasn't actually out of that terminal. It wasn't American Airlines. It wasn't a whole bunch of stuff that they said it was. So, you know. And when I saw the picture, my wife and I looked at it. It just looked iffy. It, it just didn't seem right. I'm like, I don't think he's going to have a problem. No, it was scaremongering a lot of the time, isn't it? Yeah. And, and it's with a company called EasyJet as well. So it's a shame, isn't it? Well, I mean, yeah, the media just needs to stop. Yeah. So, um, 
that's why we don't even watch the news in our house anymore. You know, they say, oh, did you hear about that? Nope. Okay. The world is great. That's why I try to keep from telling myself. Dogs and cats living together. Oh, my. I need a brush pair. Please watch this. Yeah. Look at that. That's a pair needs to be brushed. What we got here? LOL, he can make all other Brits mad. I don't think he has something like that there. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, he could do a tour. Um, What's, what's Westmont? I think it's that. Okay. We're just going to get fought some guns. <laughs> yes. So, we're going to a gun range since now he brought it up. It's one by my house opening up on Monday. And since, why don't you say, so, you know, I I am pro Second Amendment. Uh, I'm, I exercise my Second Amendment. I have two guns for security and house purposes. And plus, I like to go to a gun range. I'm not an enthusiast. I don't have a huge collection. I've only got two. So it's just exercising my Second Amendment right. So just be politically correct on this channel. So one, so you say in your country, in the UK, no one's allowed to purchase one, right? Uh, you, can, you can get like a shotgun if you're, um, if you're game shooters and stuff like that. But you have to have a special license and there's a load of rigor and you have to be sponsored by people that have known you and, you know, lots of psychiatric stuff and all that kind of malarkey. Um, so it's certainly difficult, but no, you can't just go and buy a handgun. Okay, so here in Illinois, we have some of the strictest gun laws, but south side of Chicago doesn't exercise those gun laws. Crooks and gang thugs will don't follow laws. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, so we'll let this cool down. It'll, uh, don't ever get excessive with your scraper. So we'll let that cool down a little bit. Looks really clean. Um, is this Sam's printer or a new one? This is a um, artillery sent this for me to do a review live stream on, and it is the Sidewinder X2. So not not Sam's. If he he doesn't need any more printers either. <laughs> so, um, but. So we're gonna. There's a uh, range that's opening by my house, and um, Range USA. It opens on Monday, and that's where we're going. Um, I have two handguns, both nine millimeters, but I want him to start out with a smaller caliber because it could be pretty intimidating. But to me, I don't think Sam's a very intimidating guy. So uh, I'm looking at like I want to try a bazooka, <laughs> I <wanna> try <laughs> some machine gun. Uh, bofers, if they have them from World War Two, that kind of thing. It's legal to own a tank here, so <laughs> but you can't fire. That's the thing. So, uh, okay. Yeah. yeah, you can own a tank, but you know they do mock battles, you know, recreation battles and stuff. It's pretty fun. Right. So, so this heats up real quick. How quick is it? It's it's getting cool pretty, pretty quick. But I mean, that's the thing with the glass pets. People get impatient. I. Definitely been impatient, but um, like with my other glass bed printers, you just hear the crackling and the popping, and you know that it's released. But that's a small part, so but it did, does look really nice. But yeah, so we'll be going there on Monday. It'll be a good time. We'll be all morphed out. So I'll be twice the size from eating all the uh, uh, big dish pizzas. Yep. And uh, all that malarkey. Sam is the only print so many Wexter super size minis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Those are impressive. Uh, I'll tell you what, uh, there's one that I, I worked on which you might have seen on that. Uh, I was talking about the one still on the ground. All oh, right, yeah, okay. No, no, I'm good. I'm good. Um, yeah, there was a Wexter print I did, which was the Sith um, Darth Maul. And that was absolutely huge. Um, but again, it's finding time to get the content out. So, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. it's printed, it's been filmed, it's been shot. 
but uh, just need to edit it all, it all together. We've also been working on the races to so view. Yeah. So it's uh, you know, and it's funny because there are maybe four or five other people that are working on these that are in the US right now. Uh, Loz, one of them. Um, Joel, we've got uh, Jim from Major Tech. We've got who else? We've got? Uh, Dan or Dave? Not Dan. Dave. Dave isn't making one yet. Okay. Um, there's a, there's going to be a fair few there anyway. Uh, maybe Slice might have one. They certainly will send the files and stuff. Uh, and then we've then hopefully got, got a manufacturer race then here for next in Frankfurt in November. So that could be quite interesting as well. So this is very much about the launch of that. Um, that's why I'm here doing this. And I figured I'd hang out with Tripod. We've not met in person before. Yeah. I was taller than you thought I was going to be. Yeah. Although in this particular pose, <laughs> it's, it's okay. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's good times. I'm having a problem with mine. I think it's just, a, you know, I'm running dual speed controls, so I get tested with two batteries. Hopefully that solves my problem. So, and because I got two smaller ones coming or another smaller one coming tomorrow. You try to release it. Not so. No, no, no. Yeah. Give it a little. That, that's impressive filament, man. Uh, I maker. It, it makes it. It just makes everything look easy with their film. It really does. I don't think I've had any bad experiences with polymaker film. Somehow, I don't think Sam would get a 105 millimeter howitzer through security going home. No, I'm not talking about taking it home. I just want to, you know, blow some stuff up. <laughs> there is so machine guns. You know, people talk about <coughs> automatic weapons. It's heavily licensed for those here and you could certain gun ranges you could fire them but you, it's really almost it's like with what you for your uk it's not like that here yeah it's all media you can't just go out and buy a machine gun. <laughs> it's not you know they look like it you know with the way they look but it's just a rifle sure he likes being around people Uh, the form for it isn't bad. The so months waiting and approval to clear. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna hit for a week. <laughs> um, for me to get my foid for right here, which is firearm card, this was three, four years ago. It still it took five months. To get wow. it. Yeah, between the background checks and 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 then you know Illinois, just being Illinois, it just takes a while. Talk about this filament for a second. What do you think of the cardboard spools? I like it. The only problem is, again, if you have a high humidity area, they do warp more, but they're pretty solid. Um, I haven't had any problems yet. Yeah. Yeah. They. I think for every. I think it was something like for every five spools they sell, they uh, knock off the carbon footprint of a tree. Wow, um, and they, they're printing. Uh, sorry, they're they're planting plants for every sport that's sold as well. Nice, that's good. So it's real, real closely with their carbon offsetting, which is nice. Yeah, I've um, I have just would buy filament just to buy it, and I would have difficulties. And you know, Lightspeed gets a lot of flack on his TikTok. Because he just doesn't get better filament. It's true. I don't get any clogs with this. You know, I've ran it on many printers, direct drive, Bowden tube, no clogs. It's just, I mean, it's nice having, you don't realize, you know, people say, I got clogged. Well, I never had a diameter issue with the filament. And that's the, that's the thing is they say, okay, check your, randomly check the, the diameter of your filament. And that's usually the problem. It's not consistent. Yeah. And that's why you get your clock. But it's precision. It's precision made as well. Some of the some of the industrial stuff as well. You gotta try and pull that off. I was just testing it. Okay. And I told you I get impatient too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I wanted to make sure. You're not gonna hear it possibly crack. It's just not working. Yeah. Oh when I was doing the the polymaker ones on the I was just hearing I was 
sitting there working, and I, I just looked cool, and I just hear crack, crack. And I'm like, oh, it's really amazing. <laughs> and that was with the glue stick because my, um, um, then the crack plus is all worn out. I just use a glue stick on it. Yeah. So. Well, I was doing that PIE sheet the other day with that. Um, did you see the uh, X3D the sheep's head thing? The golden sheep's head thing I did? And I literally just lifted the sheet up and uh -oh. the whole thing just flew off. <laughs> and it just it just released really nicely. I mean, you could put a flex sheet on here, but then you have to it, you have to either put another magnetic sheet on it yeah. and or you clip it, but still then you have an air gap underneath. Yeah. We'll put it on. Yeah. Uh, punch up because of a huge diameter. Yeah, so he had a, a coax, coax punch up on him because of a huge diameter issue for his inner rods. Matt. Hey, Matt, you never answered a question. Are you going to Murph? I think you said you were. <laughs> Not now, I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> Because, um, so do you guys want? To, I don't know if I want to do an unboxing of the uh, Kaiwu there because the network saturation is going to be intense. Yes, he's going to be there on Saturday. Yeah, oh, cool. yeah so there's going to be a lot of people streaming. I know Dan's going to try to stream. Um, Jim Edge of Texas, he's going to try to stream. Um, so that that Wi Fi network is going to be very saturated. Oh, we've got a flex on it. <laughs> I yeah. can stand really close and try and download stuff on my phone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, we're going to bring a, in case the floor sweats, we're going to bring a um, a tote. So Jen will stop by. Um, so you want to put, if anything goes on the floor, so what happens in there, so if, the, if it's heat and humidity, the concrete sweat last year from the ground because they didn't put a vapor barrier underneath. Okay. And it, all the moisture from the underneath the it just seeped up into the oh, puddles. Man. Wow. Yeah, that's why I fell like right away, right when I went in there. I thought I, I scanned the, the floor, thought it was all good. Crutch just flew out. And that was the first time I told you, like when we were at Walmart, that my wife, for the first time in 20 years, saw me fall. So. So and she's like, "That was you okay? Yeah, I'm durable. Yeah, the floor was bad." As Matt says. Yeah, Matt never sleeps. By the way, he was streaming at late last night or early this morning at 1:30 a.m. I tried to stay awake and I fell asleep watching him painting. Oh. What was he made? <laughs> I, I don't know. I mean, I didn't get to that part. So yeah, I know you you said, about, it's weird because sometimes I get um, I get notifications. And it's like, do you want to join? And I'm going, and I've done it before. I think it was on his channel where I was in breakfast and I just went live on his stream. <laughs> it was someone's stream, and I was like, oh my god! It was like that could have been far worse. Well, he said, yeah. I don't know if you heard the news part. Of that. Oh right, okay. So, anything for those subscribers, eh? Mm -hmm, yeah. He was wearing these, these uh, you know, glasses with the magnifying glasses on. All right. All right, so oh, it is past your feeding time. That's why. Oh. It gives you that look, like um, I'm hungry. So as soon as this releases, we'll be ending the stream. So they don't even give you a scraper, I don't think. So they they really don't want you to dig at their glass bed. Yeah. Yep. Nope. Nope. Really. Yeah, I mean, you you know what happens to these glass beds if you try to pull it too early, and that's the thing; it has a small wrap. So you figure that it would. Yeah, it is on there really good. Well, remember the first layer was it, it's got what they call it elephant foot. Yeah, so it's on there pretty good. Yeah, so he was painting for the first time late last night. So who knows? Maybe I'll start a new trend with uh, the hydro, you know, hydrographics. Like the vignette, it's awesome. So one side's a little blurry, but it still looks pretty cool on that side too. This is 
intense. It's like, it is. It's, this is like watching paint dry. This is why people damage their beds. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what? Well, we're up and printing. How long has this been going? For an hour and 26 minutes, we've already completed the print. That's like a record for me. I mean, and, and we've been just talking. This is printed and finished at least 20 minutes ago. Oh, it's a uh, stream elements. So, so it's uh, because I'm doing a cross stream. So that's stream elements doing it, telling how people could participate in having some fun. Okay. Well, not the stream elements. Kind of niggas who come. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he was painting late last night. No, that's early, early morning. He's mad. <laughs> you gotta get your. Uh, Timing correct. But great features. You got the direct drive, you got um, the auto bed mesh leveling, very sturdy frame, super easy to assemble. Solid, solid machine. If you're a fan of ribbon cables, you'll love it. If you're not a fan of ribbon cables, you'll love it. Dual Z's. I like the access points for the um, yeah. the USB and the SD and the color screen. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a good enough size. It's very uh, interface. If you're used to artillery, it's the same. Um, super quiet. I mean, you, you get a fully packed large volume printer for a four sixty or four seventy. No blood, no magic smoke, and with some princess in the house, a new record. We aim to please, man. Who's that? Who's that? Karen. Wow. I know that's a that's a full blown compliment. I, like, I, I mean, I mean, I mean that's that's great. All right, time for food. Catch you all this weekend. Yes, man. You will indeed. You will indeed. What? Come on, try, boss. You get a tea for top. Okay. Uh, all right. I mean, it's pretty cool. Summer. It's really on there. Wow. Yep. Yeah. And that's how the artillery the uh, X2 stays for the rest of the year. Uh, nice. Yeah, I like to say that. You know what? I don't, I don't think it's going to come Always do that. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. You can always do the old good old break the uh, spatula. Yeah, it was not a part of the printer. It was <laughs> the top of the spatula here. All right, we're not going to break it. Um, I'll, I'll show it after on, tw on Twitter. But we're going to let it release. I don't want to ruin a bed, a glass bed, a pristine glass bed. Fresh and clean. Yes. So we know it sticks, but it also has a little bit of elephant's foot because the Z was a little bit too close to the bed, but didn't scratch it. It was just a little bit too much. It almost feels like glue on there. It does, yeah. It's, it's, in the, uh, it's in the car. All right. So let's uh, we'll say goodbye. This is Sam. Where can we find you? Where can you find me? Yep. Oh, I'll be at Murph this weekend. And uh, YouTube is www.youtube.com forward slash the real Sam Prince. Okay. All right. And he has some great content, of course. And he has got that. His, so far, his uh, racer is a racer compared to mine. Mine's slow and it looks like it's on crutches. So, well, and you can catch me, Tripod, Tripod's Garage, not Treepod, but it could be Treepod's Tripod Tables. Is that what we call it? Is that what we call it? I don't know. Tree pods, tripods. <laughs> yeah, tripods, tripods. Tree pods, tripods. So, anyways, we'll catch you the next time on Tripods Garage and the Real Sam. See you the next time. Bye for now.